Hey. Um, I'm coming at you guys really quick. Um, this video really isn't about my, isn't about my hair. Um, it's about weight loss. For us, the summer's ending. Well, I live in Phoenix, Arizona. By the calendar, the summer's ending. But by reality, it's October 23rd and it's 97 degrees out. I mean, we actually just had our annual church picnic today. So, I'm going by the calendar. Summer's ending, because a lot of people out there in the country, um, other parts of the country, it's cold outside now. And we tend to, during the summer, we're really conscious about what we eat, and we're out there working out, we're very active outside, hiking, and bike riding, and all that good stuff. And now that, you know, fall is coming, it's getting a little chilly outside, we tend to kind of slow up our activity, you know, or even get sedentary throughout the um fall and holiday season into the new year until you know you get that at the first beginning of the year start making those resolutions about losing weight and eating healthier and that but I just kinda want to get a jump start on that and just want to hear what people are doing as they bring their workouts inside or or even just to kinda get into your head now that you know what I could continue what I'm doing but you know um, just adjust it do something inside but keep my workout regimen going I know for me this is for me um, during the summer I was doing great I did my first 5k training for that and really saw results from doing that and then in the last month I've just been like came to a screeching halt you know what's so frustrating about it is that you know I get well, I work out I work out and it's like I can't you know, you just in that mode, and to I just can't even stop working out. You know, I do my two, I do something in the morning as a workout, and do something in the evening. I feel good, and it's just on, and blah blah blah. And then a couple of workouts pass, and I don't do anything. Then it's just like then it's hard to get back into the whole um, mode of working out. So that's why I am now, and I'm trying to whew, get back. It's working out. Um, I don't want to get to, you know, January 1st. It's like, okay, okay, this is what I'm going to do. You know, I want to start now. You know, it's been a month. I haven't been on it like I should have. My mom and dad moved out here to Arizona, so we're getting them set up and enjoying them after not being in the same city for 10 years and just kind of not doing what I'm supposed to do. So, this, I just want to know what are people doing to bring their exercise routine in, in, inside. Now, I did take a couple of um, pictures of my exercise room, so I'm going to try to work it into this video for you guys. Because I don't have an excuse for not working out at any time throughout the year. Um, and so I just... When I come back, I'm going to do another video just to kind of let you guys know what I'm doing as far as my workout regimen, as far as my diet, and then just go from there. But I, one thing that I can, two things I can tell you is that I'm going to get back to working out twice a week, even if one of those, I mean, not twice a week, twice a day with one day of rest. Even if one of those workouts is just a quick 15 minute workout, I'm going to do something twice a day so that I, I get back into that frame of mind of this is part of my day. You know, once you get into it and it's part of your day and when you don't do it, it's like you miss something. And that's how I was this summer. So um, that's one thing that I know. And secondly is that um, I've been a member of Weight Watchers off and on for years. And as a matter of fact, two weeks ago, I think I uh, think it's been about two weeks that um, I canceled my membership because I was doing a monthly thing. And um, I just canceled it. You know, it's $50 a month. And I just need to reevaluate all of my finances. And just really, I think that's why I'm making this video now, just to reevaluate everything. So I usually do really good with Weight Watchers after I stop going to the meetings. And I'll do good for a while. And then I'll just totally just lose my mind and don't do nothing. But I don't want it to get to that point and I feel myself yeah. so um, I just feel like making the videos will help me be accountable to um, 
to what I say, you know, what I tell myself, because we, I deserve to be healthy, look good, and to show my granddaughter, you know, what it's like to be healthy. So, um, and I'm not a fanatic, I'm not, and, and I'm not knocking people who, you know, who are, but I'm not, you know, on the organic kick or anything like that. I can't afford it. So, um, my thing is as long as I'll do as fresh as much as I can, veggies and fruit, because that is Weight Watchers philosophy. So I'm going to pretty much follow that, you know, and stay within my, the points that have already been preset. I have all, <laughs> all of the books, all of the paperwork. Cookbook, Weight Watcher Cookbook. My mom has Weight Watcher Cookbook. She's been a member off and on for years. And I have her here now. So there's somebody that's physically will help help keep me on track. We can help each other stay on track. So um, just, just, you know, post here with some of your ideas for indoor exercise activity. One thing that I can think of right off the bat, because me and my cousin who lives in Chicago, we just had this conversation. Because she loves, well, we both love to ride our bikes. I am still able to do it and probably will be able to do it all year round. It's just that it does get chillier early in the morning here. But in Chicago, it freaking snows. You know, so she can't do it all year round. So what I proposed to her was go on Amazon and get a, uh, it's called a trainer. Anybody who knows anything about cycling is that this what this thing does is that you just hook your regular bike that you ride outside the back tire onto this apparatus and it you can still ride but the bike doesn't go anywhere. It's so because she was going to get a spin bike, you know, and those things were five hundred dollars up. It's like why spend your money on that when you can use the bike that you're already used to, the bike that you ride every day during the summer, put it on a Train, if you want to spend some money, spend $100, $150 on a good, stable trainer that will give you um, a variable resistance. And cycle inside on your own bike and not go buy a stationary bike, which I did. Um, so that's my idea to you guys. If you love to cycle, if you love to bike ride, then, you know, make your own stationary bike for, I, I know I saw one on Amazon, a, a, a trainer for about 40 50 bucks now. That's the price I saw. I didn't go into, I didn't go into um, the ratings and the reviews of it. So that you know, you do due diligence and research all of that. But that's a start, you know, by bringing your your outside routine in. So um, I'll be back. You guys get your ideas together, post them down here, and let's just dialogue about this. Let's encourage each other. Let's keep each other where we don't have to wait until you know next summer but we don't have to wait until January 1st to get into this you know mode of trying to hurry up and lose weight for the summer but let's just if you haven't let's keep it going from what we've started this summer if you didn't start or you like me you started it and you kind of fell off the wagon and the wagon ran over you like it did me let's get up dust ourselves off and let's just start again so I'll be coming back with another video with just um, what my exercise regimen is going to be, along with some ideas of what you can do. And I'll even show you some products and some DVDs that I, I'm telling you, I got so much stuff, it's just no, not, there's just no excuse. I know it's just, you know, simple old school stuff. So I'll show you those things. Um, I'll give you an example, a very, you know, limited sample of what my weekly uh, diet plan will be and, um, you know, just to give ideas. So feel free to put your ideas on here. I don't care if it's Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, organic, vegetarian, whatever you do to keep or the things that you want to do to make yourself healthy, full of energy working out. That's the kind of stuff that I just kind of want to discuss as we go into the fall and in the time of month where we just kind of get, you know, cozy and comfy and just want to stay in and stay warm and all that stuff. But, you know, 
then we're gonna turn around it's gonna be that new year's eve party we're gonna be like wanting to look good for and we quite won't be there so um so yeah that's what we'll do and come back when i come back and i'll see you then